Coming up today on Naughty D's, we get some assistance from some fellow YouTubers. Uh, I will be co-captaining today. And we're gonna have a safe passage. Oh yes. yeah. We're gonna stay off the bottom, we're gonna stay off the rocks, <laughs> and we're gonna stay off the pilings and off the marina. So as usual, Dave is driving on one engine, one propeller. The, the, hope. the hope and the plan and the belief system right now is that we're going to idle out on the one starboard engine and I hope that that's going to charge the port battery. Enough is enough. It's time for some professional help. And I've got Captain Dan here. Captain Dan, the boatman. And then we finally make it out on anchor. That's all coming up now on today's episode of Naughty D's. In July 2020, we decided to sell our home and chase our dream of living on a boat. We drove the four corners of Florida looking for a boat and found a lot of adventures in between. Join us as we chase our dreams and leave everything else behind. Hi, I'm David. And I'm Danielle. And welcome to another exciting episode with Naughty D's. The boat's been repaired, the winds have changed, and today's the day to bring this baby home. All right, here we are. We've got the, the first time the entire party of five is going to be going aboard the boat. And uh, we're over here at Tarpon Springs Marina uh, after taking it out of the boat yard. And uh, we're, gonna, we're, gonna go, we're gonna go check it out. The dogs are going crazy. back on again okay here we are I'll let you do the talking all right introduction well this is it this is the day uh, voyage number five for me personally for us and um, here they are Jeremiah and Lisa nomads on deck right there go check out their uh, you guys have a YouTube channel right yes yeah. and, Insta. and so check out their Instagram check out their YouTube channel here uh, they're down in St. Pete area, which isn't too far from us, and uh, we got to know them a little bit on the social media, and I just, you know, like you said earlier, I begged them to come help me. So here we are, the four of us, we're going to get out of here, get out of uh, Tarpon Springs, uh, make, make our way up uh, the Gulf to our home port, and hopefully get this thing docked with uh, no problems, no issues, and uh, enjoy the rest of our weekend. So. And we have all of our electronics, Navionics, cap, uh, Active, Captain, Active Captain, Garmin, and Jeremiah here. And Jeremiah here. <laughs> so hopefully uh, we've got enough uh, bases covered. But yeah, hopefully we've got enough bases covered to get this thing done safely. And we've checked the winds and the waves and the tides. So we should everything. Only looks thing to be in that our working favor. with us is the temperature. Yeah. Today we are with the Naughty Dees. We're gonna go ahead and help them with their boat. Well, Jeremiah is gonna help them today. What are you gonna do today? Uh, I'll be co-captaining today and uh, just kind of offering insights and. Uh, pointing some things out so that he can get more comfortable, um, you know, doing certain things, and then uh, we're just going to turn it over to him, and uh, that's it. And we're going to have a safe passage. Oh yes. Yeah. We're going to stay off the bottom. We're going to stay off the rocks, <laughs> and we're going to stay off the pilings and off the marina. We'll be in the channel. Yeah. We already ran aground, and they did the same thing. So we all have experience on this area, and we're kind of nervous, but it's going to be a great day today. Okay, we'll see you. We'll see you up top. All right, so right now we're uh, we thought we were getting ready to head out, head out, um, 
at 100%, and for the first time ever, my port engine was, I mean, nothing. There was Battery. no juice, nothing, and turned out the uh, port side engine is complete, I mean, port side battery was completely wiped out. Uh, I don't know why it's suddenly dead, but. So as usual, Dave is driving on one engine, one propeller, even though this time um, it's not broken. The hope and the plan and the belief system right now is that we're going to idle out on the one starboard engine and I hope that that's going to charge the port battery up enough so by the time we hit the open water we can uh, fire up that port engine and be fine. So that's where we're at right now. It's always, uh, it's always carefree and fancy free on the water. Give it a sec, Dave. All right, give it a shot, Dave. Go ahead and give it a shot. I would never be able to make it on a sailboat. <laughs> Same as I think before. two engines we've got all good props once again Damon came and saved the day again and uh, we're gonna go ahead and start to make our way back to our uh, home port uh, under uh, full power so we'll see you we're on our way Okay, it wasn't pretty, 
It took me a couple tries, my friend almost went for a swim, but all in all, minus a few battery issues, I'd say we had another successful voyage. But there's no doubt about it, it was time to get professional help. It is uh, finally uh, learn how to drive this boat day. And I've got Captain Dan here. Captain Dan, the boat man. Uh, he works for all Captain Yacht Sales. Uh, Dan here, we met months and months ago. We thought we were gonna buy one of his boats and I wish uh, in hindsight we would have. Uh, we thought we were gonna stay away from gas boats and so we actually uh, passed on his boat because it was a gas boat. Uh, and then ultimately here we are now on a gas boat. And, Still got uh, a nice boat here. Um, it, yeah, it's a nice boat. But anyway, you, those of you who have followed the show so far have seen that I've had my share of uh, challenges. And each time uh, we've taken this boat out, it was right before I had a scheduled uh, training day with Captain Dan here. And each time I had to call and cancel and reschedule because we destroyed the boat once or twice. So uh, we've been out of the yard now for about three or four days. I, I am currently on three, count them, one, two, three successful voyages now without any problems but we wanted to keep that um, that number going so we've got Dan down here finally oh god he's been here all day with me he's uh, changed my belts he's uh, replaced a bilge pump for me a whole bunch of stuff that was definitely not on our menu for the day but uh, he wanted to make sure we had a safe boat before we got out of here it's uh, about four o'clock now four oh about a quarter to five um, and uh, we're finally on our way. We're gonna go find us an anchorage. Dan's gonna teach us how to make sure we anchor out safely, how to use all these electronics that we finally spent the money to get. And, um, and we're gonna have a successful voyage number four and five.
do anything with the, another anchor, or what, do you, what should we do now? Uh, you don't need a second anchor. You just when you when you anchor out, you're drifting with the wind. Okay. Um, now I have an anchor use, alarm. Should I set that? Set that, and then it gives you the radius where you can swing around in. And okay. You're done. But you change the radius. So we don't even have that much anchor, do we? So drift outside of that, you know that you're dragging your anchor. Okay. So what do we do now? Shut off the engines. Shut off the engines. Okay. And finally, here we are. We've had our fair share of bad days, bad decisions, and bad luck. But with the help of Captain Dan, we finally made it out to anchor for our very first night. Welcome to North Ancloak Key, due west of Tarpon Springs, Florida, and just north of Honeymoon Island. us a favor and be sure to hit that subscribe button. And please don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Naughty D's. Coming up on next week's episode. Well, unfortunately, it was not the uneventful night we had hoped for. Uh, soon after uh, getting here into our anchorage, uh, we lost our generator. So we spent a few hours uh, down in the engine room trying to figure out what was wrong with that. So. Another weight on it. You got it. It's all that and more coming up next week on Naughty D's.